Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I am gonna show how to make Weekend with Duke Basil 2 in After Effects. Let's get started. So first step, let's select this here, go to Solo and move the anchor point down and click Selection Tool on Solo. Select these modes, nose, eyes and eyebrow and left ear, right ear, right hand and pair onto this here. Let's click toggle switch mode for close this area. Okay, and select this here, press air, let's see. Okay, nice. So, select this hair back, pair onto this here. Select this hair back, go to solo and move the anchor point up. And click selection tool and solo. Then select this left hand, go to solo and let's add puppet pin one puppet here one here and one here and go to here change puppet engine legacy click ok and click selection tool and unsolo then select this right hand go to solo and add puppet pin here one here and here click selection tool and change puppet engine legacy and unsolo close settings and select this body go to solo move the anchor point down and click selection tool on solo so let's go to window open do it basil 2 and click this icon for rigging okay select this right hand and go to fx control select this puppet go to click add bones okay we have three bones let's parent it Select this puppet 3, parent to this puppet 2. Select this puppet 2, parent to this puppet 1. And select these 3 puppets, go to click auto rig IK. Ok, let's select this controller, let's see. Nice. So, let's select this puppet pin 1 and parent to this body. Select this body, press L, let's see. Ok, nice. And select these puppet pins. Let's lock layers. And click this icon, this icon and this icon. Then click this icon for hide all layers. Okay. Then select this left hand. And go to FX control. Select this puppet. Click add bones. Okay. And select this puppet pin 3. Parent 2. Select 2. Parent 1. And select this puppet pin 1, pair onto this body. And select these three puppets, go to again auto rig IK. And select this controller, let's see. Okay, nice. And select this body, press L, let's see. Nice. So, let's select these puppets and lock layers. Again, click this icon for hide layers. Okay, nice. So, let's change controller's name, right hand, and select this controller, left hand. Then let's zoom to face, and select this eyebrow, eyes, nose, mouth, head, left ear, and right ear, and hair back. Okay. Then let's press P in the keyboard, and go to here, select this position, right mouse, select this separate dimension and select this right mouse separate dimension and this and this and this and this left ear separate dimension and right ear separate dimension and hair back again separate dimension okay then let's make k frames and go to 10 k frame for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down and otherwise click here let's write plus 10 and click enter for go to 10k frames again make new k frames like this again go to 10k frames and make new k frames again okay we have three k frames and let's go to first k frame select this x and let's move to right okay and this move to right this eyes and this nose and this modes 
So let's select this here and close these keyframes and close settings. Okay, then select this left air. Let's move to right and select this right air. Move to right this. Okay, and here back. Move to right. Okay. So go to here. Okay, and go to last shape frame. Let's move to left these objects like this. And these modes. And left air. Okay, and like this. And here back. Okay. Okay, let's go to Duik Bezel, go to Connector, and click this circle. And click this icon for create to the slider controllers. Okay. Let's select this controller and move to here. Press S, change scale. Nice. And let's select this X J frames, hold control, select only X J frames like this okay and go to duik bezel select axis x and click connect to properties okay let's select this controller let's see nice so let's go to again for a second select the a position and let's move to down these objects and this and this nose and mods let's see okay let's move to back move to down this head back okay and this left air and right air let's see okay nice and let's move to down these mods again and this nose and eyes and air bro okay let's see nice and go to last tray frame select this eye bronze move to up and eyes move to up and nose move to up and mods and airs and this right air and here let's see nice so select these only yay key frames yay position key frames hold control select these key frames this yay key frames this and this this and finally these key frames go to again do it change axis yay and click connect the properties okay let's select this controller let's see nice so let's hold control click a close j frames and let's create new slider okay and select this slider move to right okay press s change scale so let's select these eyes press s click this icon make scale chain frame and go to three chain frame one two three change scale five go to three chain frame again one two three change 100 then select these chain frames and click connect to properties okay let's select this controller let's see nice so let's close duik Select this eyebrows, eyes, nodes, modes, and left ear, right ear, and these hands, and legs, okay, and background, look layer, and click this icon for hide these layers, like this, okay, let's select this, press S, change scale, move to here, let's select this to this layer controller, Okay, nice. 
we can change eyes here let's make a little animation go to first second press p select this controller make new position keyframe and move to left and go to three and go to five keyframes one two three four five move to right select keyframes make easy let's see okay and go to here make new position keyframe go to five keyframes and move to left go to here make new position keyframe again go to five keyframes and move to right go to here make new position keyframe again go to five keyframes one two three four five and move to left so let's see nice so go to four second press n for select work area and select this controller let's go to here press p make new position keyframe and go to 10 keyframe let's move to here okay let's select keyframes make easy let's see okay and go to here make new position keyframe go to 10 keyframe move to here let's see nice and go to here make new position keyframe again go to 10 keyframe move to up let's see select keyframes move to here and this move to here let's select this ice keyframes move to here let's see nice and finally make new position keyframe again go to 10 keyframe move to like this and select key frames move to right let's see nice so in this time select this here press air go to here and make rotation key frame and go to 10 key frame change rotation minus 3 or minus 6 select key frames make easy let's see okay and go to here Make new rotation keyframe, go to 10 keyframe, change 6. Okay, and in this time, make new rotation keyframe again, go to 10 keyframe, change 0. Let's see. Okay, and go to last keyframes, make new, new rotation keyframe, go to 10 keyframe, and change rotation minus 3. So go to here, select this here, hold shift, press P make new position keyframe and go to center move to down go to last keyframe select first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v and select keyframes make easy let's see okay select keyframes ctrl c go to here ctrl v and go to here ctrl v and here ctrl v let's see nice so in this time select this body let's press air make rotation keyframe and go to 10 keyframe change minus 2 okay let's select this here pair onto this body let's say again nice select keyframes make easy and go to here make new rotation body keyframe go to 10 keyframe change 3 let's see and let's change 2 Okay, and go to here make new body keyframe go to 10 keyframe again change 0 and go to here make new rotation keyframe for body go to 10 keyframe and change minus 2 so in this time go to here hold shift press p again make bones effect make new position keyframe and go to center let's move to down go to here select first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v let's see Okay, select keyframes, make easy and select this reposition keyframes, control C, go to here, control V. Okay, and here, control V and here, control V. Let's see. Nice. So select this right hand controller, press P, make new position keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. Move to left and here, move to right and move to up 
let's see okay select keyframes, frames make easy and in this time make new position keyframe. frame go to 10 keyframe, frame move to left and and move to down let's see okay and in this time make new position keyframe. frame go to 10 keyframe, frame move to up and move to right go to last keyframes, frames make new position keyframe, frame and go to here move to left and move to up let's see okay not bad so select this left hand controller let's press p and make new passing keyframe. frame go to 10 keyframe. frame move to right and move to up again go to here let's move to down and move to right let's see okay and in this time move to left go to here move to up and move to right select keyframes, frames make easy ease. let's see nice and go to here this let's add random animations like this and go to here move to up and move to right let's see okay and go to here move to left move to down and go to again last shape frame move to right and move to up so this is random animation you can make your shape frames go to like you let's see again so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck